I would like to now take some time to show you the cross-curricular significance of the tools. I don't want you just to think about the math toolbar used in math, the language arts teacher used, um, or toolbar used in language arts. These tools really have a cross-curricular significance and can help you to create resources on the fly, no matter what grade level or subject area you teach in. Here we have a map showing the journeys of Christopher Columbus. And I either got that map by going to glass mode, which allows me to, again, go to my active desktop and navigate to an internet page and snag information to bring it into Easy Teach. Or another nice way to do it is by going to my multimedia bank. And rather than selecting the pre-prepared categories, I can go to the browse section within that multimedia bank. And you'll see now it opens up my desktop, my network, allowing me to browse to any folder within it. And you'll notice that automatically it populates the multimedia bank with any compliant videos, images, flash resources, so a whole host of multimedia that can be just dragged and dropped onto the page. So without having to do any of that, it populated my bank for me. Okay, so what are we going to do with this map? Well, I'm a social studies teacher and part of this lesson's objective is to get the students to think and write empathically as they describe each journey of Christopher Columbus and his crew. Now, one thing about 21st century learners, one thing they struggle to do, is really put themselves in the position of historical characters. So let's use technology as a way to raise standards and use technology again when it's the best medium for delivering this part of the lesson. So I'm going to use the distometer tool within my geography toolbar. Clicking on it, it brings me up my tool. And the first thing I need to do is calibrate it because what I always try to do in the delivery of the curriculum is ensure that information and data is accurate. So I'm going to calibrate my tool by drawing a line next to the scale at the bottom of the map, clicking calibrate, and selecting my units and using the virtual keyboard so I don't even have to go back to my computer, I can type in the measurement that that line is the equivalent of. Clicking set, my tool is now calibrated and depending on the grade level of my students I can select the polyline or the straight line. Selecting the polyline my students can come out to the board and they can measure each journey of Christopher Columbus and as they go it's an accurate measurement so I'm able to talk about a thousand miles travelled, conditions were poor, food provisions were running out, scurvy was prevalent so we're really able to engage with the characters while measuring that journey because it takes on that realism and accuracy. I can even go and copy and paste that measurement straight out onto my screen. So that's just one example of how I can use the geography tool to really enliven and help my students engage with a particularly challenging area of history.